beautiful people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumiere. Before we get started, I want to shout out to my Lumis, my amazing subscribers all over the world. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and supporting each other. Today's reading is another episode of Magic Moon Messages. So these are your messages for the lunar month. We will be taking a look at the general messages from Spirit for your lunar month. So this could be blessings, it could be advice, you know, whatever's gonna come in for you over the next lunar month. So we're gonna be taking a look at that. I'm super excited to do this reading for you. I will insert an overhead picture of the cards so that you can make your selection. We've got four groups for you today. I've got four cards from the Moonology deck. So uh, make your selection out of the four groups. We've got group one, group two, group three and group four. You can use your intuition to guide you. You can uh, choose by the colors, by the number, uh, by whatever your intuition tells you or guides you towards um, or the image on the card. So just go with what resonates today. You are welcome to pause the video if you need a little bit more time to make your selection as to which of the groups will resonate with you, all right? While you make your selection, I just want to shout out to Lifebook. It's a course that I've been doing. This is not sponsored. Um, I just wanted to let you know because I know that lots of us in the community are like-minded and loads of you love Mind Valley. So Lifebook is an online course provided by Mind Valley. Um, it is really high caliber and Lifebook is a book that you create so that you can be the author of your best life, okay? It is super empowering and you get to uh, look at the 12 dimensions of your life and kind of focus your intention and your dreams in these 12 areas as you go along the course. It is really positive, really uplifting, uh, really empowering and really helps you to focus on what it is you are trying to manifest in your life. Because like I always say, if you've got a wishy-washy idea about what you want, you get wishy-washy results. So this whole uh, course is all about setting your intention so that you can lead a life which is uh, you know, more abundant, where you have more joy, where you feel more authentic, and you are following your own dreams and not the dreams of society or what your friends or family want, but what is true to you and your own heart's desire. So it's been a really amazing course. It's been really expansive. I've absolutely loved doing it and love being part of the community online there. So I wanted to recommend it to you. Again, not sponsored. Uh, it's called Lifebook and it's by Mind Valley, and you can find it in the description box below this video if that resonates with you and you want to find out more. Now, Mind Valley do give a two week money back guarantee. So if you find that you begin it and you don't resonate with it um, or you're not getting value out of it, I don't know why you would because it's so amazing. But if you did, they will give you your money back. So um, you can try try it and kind of just see how it goes. So it's pretty amazing. Check that out if it resonates, but otherwise timestamps are in the description box today. Uh, make your selection and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked this beautiful uh, card from the Moonology deck, if it will come into focus for us. Hopefully it will. Yeah, there you go. That looks good. Um, it says, believe in the impossible blue moon. This is so special. So this lunar month for you is going to be a very special month for you. And I feel like you are going to have a once in a blue moon opportunity come to you this month. Right? So often in life, people um, don't recognize the opportunities when they come to them because they're so caught up in their own ego or in just the busyness of life. Um, or they're not used to looking for it, but I just see like this month an opportunity is going to come in for you and you are going to be able to recognize this opportunity. And Spirit is really saying, grasp this opportunity with both hands because it will not come around again for you. This is once in a blue moon. So this is going to be a very lucky month for you this lunar month. I feel really excited. I feel like Spirit is going to have some powerful messages for you in this reading. But um, it's going to be a very special month with... Um, this unique opportunity coming in for you. And it says, believe in the impossible. So you do not know, need to know um, how things will come to you, how your good will come to you, right? You just need to set your intention and have faith that the universe can bring you your heart's desire, right? And you don't, do not need to work out 
how or why or when or all of this, you just know that it's a done deal and that it's coming to you, okay? Which is why it says believe in the impossible. So maybe this opportunity is something that you just thought would never ever happen or uh, you'd given up all hope on or you just thought, you know, just doesn't happen to someone like you, something like this. So I'm absolutely loving that for you. Let's take a look at your oracle, no, your tarot cards, and then I will look at your oracle cards a little bit later. Nine of pentacles. This is the good tarot that I'm using today, four of pentacles. It's a very beautiful deck, magician, um, but it is a bit shiny, so they've got really high gloss on them. Um, three of wands, three of cups, Wheel of Fortune, the moon. Look at the image on this. This must be the most beautiful tarot card I've ever seen. Um, chariot, Seven of Wands. So I see Pisces energy here and Cancer's energy. Uh, that may resonate with you, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, if it doesn't, you know, that could be in your chart. It could be in somebody close to you who is significant to this reading today. So. Uh, but don't worry about it too much. It's just a general reading. This is interesting with this Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. I see that you are trying to manifest something here. I feel like it is something financial. Uh, maybe you're trying to manifest financial independence. Maybe you want to manifest paying off your credit card debt, something like this. Um, maybe you want to manifest a particular sort of job or career or a, a position in a company or something like this. But with this Four of Pentacles, this tells me that you've got a block. What I'm hearing from Spirit is there is a block in one of your chakras. So you want to clear your chakras or balance your chakras in order to bring this in for you. Okay. So Spirit is saying, yeah, this is on the cards. This is something that you can manifest. Um, you know, this improved prosperity, this improved situation in your financial life. But um, you want to work on your chakras a little bit to kind of clear those blockages. So I'm, what I'm hearing from spirit is stagnant energy. So there's some sort of stagnant energy here. So I feel like maybe you've been trying to manifest this, um, maybe even for a long time, and you're not seeing the results and you don't understand why. Well, spirit is saying it's an energetic block. Okay, and it looks like it's in your chakra system. So if that resonates with you, you may want to, uh, you know, uh, journal around that or do some meditation or guided meditation um, to look at your chakras, get them into alignment and get them kind of open because I feel like there's an energetic block which is stopping you from connecting to what it is that you are trying to manifest. This could be love as well in the traditional right away tarot, the four of pentacles, the little guy on the card is holding his pentacle right in front of his heart. So it could be a block in the heart chakra. Often when we're looking at money, the block is in the root chakra. The root chakra connects us to the earth and nourishes us through our root um, with all that we need. So that can be finances or um, food, you know, any sort of nourishment, any sort of, sort of like getting our needs met. So I see that for you this month. I think it's going to be very positive. I think that Spirit is highlighting this for a reason for you um, so that you can be successful. And I think um, if this is resonating with you, if you're like, I understand why this isn't working. Oh, I hear that you've been trying very hard. And this might be the problem. When we try hard, trying leads to a very trying situation. So Spirit is really saying, just let go a little bit. Set your intentions so you know what it is that you want with clarity and then just, uh, you know, relax into it and just let the universe take care of it. Just have some of my tea. You might be able to hear the rain. It is absolutely pouring with rain today. But it makes everything green, so that's nice. Uh, we've got the Three of Wands followed by the Three of Cups. I think this is really beautiful. Um, I feel like uh, maybe you're going to be traveling or someone's going to be traveling to you. Uh, someone that you haven't seen for a long, long time. Somebody who you really wanted to see. Maybe you'll reconnect with somebody. Um, maybe you are getting together with people. You are traveling to get together with people um, to have a reunion or to see some of your family or to go to a wedding. 
something like this. Um, I see this happening for you, definitely. I feel like maybe you've been waiting a long time to see these people, maybe you've even lost contact with them in some cases, but I just see that you are gonna have something to celebrate this month. Um, it may be that you make a big announcement and everybody's really pleased for you. You know, maybe you get that job that you want or you announce an engagement or something like this, or you're celebrating with somebody who is very, very near and dear to your heart, okay? But I just see good times for you this month. I see the opportunity for you to kind of uh, let down your hair, have a good time. I know that you've been working really, really hard um, and putting the effort in and... Um, there hasn't been a lot of fun recently, but this month is gonna be a fun month for you, a fun month with your friends or your soul tribe or your family, maybe some people that you haven't seen for a long time, and it's just gonna be like, I'm just getting like, uh, like laughter bubbling up inside me like champagne, so it just feels like that, I've just been like, you just forget all your problems, you can forget all your worries, and you can just like remember what life is all about this month and just enjoy it yourself. A lot of success coming in for you this month with this beautiful Wheel of Fortune energy. So this is gonna be a very successful month for you. This could be something to do with this opportunity that is coming in for you this month. I absolutely love this for you. Um, so yes, okay, I'm getting a message and Spirit is saying, that the tides are turning. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that the tide of destiny, right, is turning for you. The tide of destiny, destiny is turning and it is now bringing you your good. So if you feel like you've been trying really hard or you've been working really hard, you've been trying to make things happen or that you've been losing a lot in your life, losing money, losing people that you love, um, you know, sometimes in life it can feel like life just takes away from us and doesn't give give to us, right? This lunar month, the tide of your destiny is turning and it is coming in and it is bringing with it your good. Can you imagine that in your mind, right? The tide of destiny is turning. Comment that down below um, and just really feel all that goodness coming towards you. So this month, you're going to see a change. You're going to see a turnaround in your success. Spirit is really helping you out with this. So believe in that power. So there's some resistance to change here that I'm seeing. We've got the moon. It's so beautiful. Um, and the chariot and the seven of wands. So this is all amazing. This is, what I'm seeing here is that there is resistance to change. I feel like, you know, a change is due. You, what I'm hearing from spirit is you can't create what you want, what it is that you want to manifest by staying um, by kind of doing the same things, by thinking the same thoughts, by having the same routine, by staying in the same place, uh, by hanging out with the same negative people, by standing around complaining with the same negative people or kind of getting involved in, in people who are lower vibrational is a message that I'm getting coming through or just um, doing the same, right? You can't expect to get different results from doing that. But I see a resistance here because where you are at is familiar, it is comfortable. And that is fair enough, you know, we're all like that. We all, um, what I'm hearing is that you're playing it safe. So, but you're feeling this resistance. You're feeling like, if you're feeling some discomfort, right? Maybe you're feeling some anxiety or even some depression or even like a health issue, right? This is all signs that it's time for you to make a positive change in your life, to, you know, take that leap of faith, to move forward, to mix things up a bit, to shake things up. This is what Spirit is saying. So there is some stagnation there. Spirit wants you to overcome that stagnation and, and move forward. And I think you want this as well with this chariot energy. This is all about like moving forward and creating success. But with this moon, this represents your fears, which are holding you back. The chariot represents the head and the heart. So I feel like there's this tug of war between your head and your heart. So your heart is just like, I want to grow. I want to really go for it. I really want to do this thing that is my heart's desire. But your head is just like, oh no, but what about the money? Or what about my family? Or... Um, I've got a life here, or I've invested so much in this already, and then you, you're met with the resistance. So you're, this month, is, this is gonna really come to the surface. This is something you are gonna have to uh, reconcile within yourself, within your own situation. Uh, but Spirit is really saying, if you're not making the progress that you want, it's because you're holding yourself back with your own fears. And what I'm hearing is your own fears about what if, 
what if this, what if I don't find work, what if I don't make any friends, what if nobody likes me, right? Um, whatever it is. So that's why the resistance is coming up and you're not uh, making that progress that you'd like to see. So this is something that you are going to have to process this lunar month. I think it's going to be very beneficial for you. It's going to be something that's on your mind um, and that you are going to be able to make changes towards. Okay, I'm just taking a look at your oracle cards. This is so interesting, you guys. We've got the card North Node, step out of your comfort zone from the Moonology deck. Isn't this just what we were talking about? <clears throat> and the card Security. So both these things very much at the forefront of your mind, very much in your energy this lunar month of just like, wanting to get out of your comfort zone, maybe wanting to travel or go for that new job or change your career or whatever it is, or pursue your passion, right? Or work for yourself, or these are just examples. But um, trying to balance that with your own security of being able to kind of make ends meet and pay your bills or pay off your debt or whatever it is, right? Um, or provide a stable foundation for your family. So this is where the tug of war is that we um, that you are facing during this lunar month. So, um, and that you need to find balance between. Now that there, there is a solution to this, and you can find balance between these two things. Definitely, there is. Um, you can. <laughs> I'm hearing from spirit is you can have it all. You ha can have your heart's desire or the direction that you want to go in, and feel safe and secure as well. So. Um, but change is disruptive, it is unfamiliar, right? And that is just something to be aware of, okay? Um, we have the card, breathe. So this is just saying, look, the answers are in the silence. Uh, when we're just busy, busy, busy all the time, sometimes we don't have time to listen to the quiet inner voice within us. The answers uh, this month are within you. So take that time to relax, take that time to breathe. Maybe you need to breathe deeper. Maybe you've been uh, breathing in a way that is very shallow. I think there's a lot of evidence to show that most people only breathe um, to a third of their capacity of their lungs. So breathe in deeply right, and you know, fill up that capacity of your lungs. You can take in the goodness of life through your breath. But when you take that time for yourself, it can just be five minutes to focus on your breath, to get quiet. It's really gonna help you to overcome any anxiety and to get centered this month. So I see that for you, a message from Spirit. We've got the card Archangel Raphael as well for you. This is uh, about health, actually. This is a card 38. Breaks down to an 11, breaks down to a two. That may be significant to you. So um, your health may be an issue. Uh, maybe you've got an ongoing problem that's kind of niggling, that's an issue for you. Spirit is really saying, call on Archangel Raphael to help you. Um, he is the guardian angel of healing and he will help you uh, but you what spirit is saying is you must call on him you can't expect him just to kind of help you he has to be invited is what i'm hearing so if you need help um with healing um sometimes archangel raphael can heal us in a miraculous way sometimes uh we can just be guided through that process as to where we can find healing so if you've got a niggling health problem or something that you've been putting off or something that you've just sort of accepted as normal spirit is saying it's not normal you can heal you can come back into balance with this and we have this beautiful card of soul work look at this this is about kind of uh, I'm hearing doing your dharma, if you've heard of that expression, kind of doing what uh, you are meant to do in this life, you know, what is most authentic to you, how you can shine your light, how you can fill the space in this life, which is uniquely yours. Spirit is also really saying this lunar month, just remember that you are um, like a spirit having a human experience, right? Just remember that. Okay, so don't neglect your spiritual self. So often we get caught up in the material things and trying to pay the bills and trying to hustle and trying to make money um, and acquire things and material stuff and material uh, concerns, you know, trying to um, 
look after our bodies and our homes and stuff like this but spirit is saying this lunar month is a time to nourish your spiritual self otherwise what i'm hearing from spirit is you will become depleted so we can nourish our spiritual selves by uh, spending time in solitude, by spending time in nature, at the beach, taking a hike, walking the dog, right? Um, this sort of thing, okay? Maybe doing meditation, maybe taking a bit of time out for yourself, maybe journaling. Do what resonates with you, but don't neglect your spiritual self this month. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards. As always, I've loved it so much. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, doing these readings today. It is amazing. So yes, if you feel called to, please check out Misha. She reads the Akashic Records. She is my friend. Um, so I'm giving her a shout out. She read my Akashic Records. It was like super healing, really deep, powerful experience. And I've just been getting so much amazing feedback from people who have worked with her. So if you have got any issues in your life, if you feel stuck, if you've got a relationship that you feel stuck in or a relationship pattern, then Misha can definitely help you out by giving you these insights into the Akashic Records. And she will give you a free, 15 minute consultation before you have your reading so that you can get the most out of it. You can get $11, $11 off uh, with my code Lumiere. It's all linked in the description box. But have an amazing lunar month. I am sending you lots of love and light. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two. This is for everyone who picked this powerful, fiery, passionate card. It says, full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. So this is really a month, this lunar month, for kind of getting clarity. Spirit is really asking you to kind of step back and look at the bigger picture because sometimes when our focus becomes too narrow, when we kind of look down, only from our, our own perspective in this moment, we uh, miss out on some of the information that we need. So Spirit is saying to me that more information is needed before you move forward or before you make a decision or before you come to a conclusion. All right, to so make sure you've got all the information, all the facts before you move forward or make a decision or sign any contracts this month. Um, so this is the message that I'm getting with this. So um, I think this is going to be a very passionate month as well. We've got this kind of bow and arrow. Um, if you can see it, if it will come into focus, I don't know if it will. Um, will it? Please, please come into focus um, on this card. So I'm just getting an image of Cupid, of kind of Cupid's arrow. So if you are single, uh, it may be that... Um, you receive a love arrow this month or some attention from somebody, but we will see uh, what the month has in store for you. Right, I'm going to start with your tarot and then I will look at your oracle cards in a moment to clarify your reading for this lunar month. Opening the reading with five of pentacles, ace of pentacles, five of swords in reverse, eight of cups, eight of wands. King of Cups. This is the Fountain Tarot that I'm using today. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Coins, Page of Pentacles, and the Emperor to close your reading. So Aries energy here, um, as well as Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that may resonate with you. Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, you know, either for you, if that's in your chart, or for somebody very close to you, um, you know, dealing with some of these issues that we're talking about this month for you. I love this. This is a powerful message. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like for some of you, right, this is you kind of coming in from out of the cold. And to me, this Ace of Pentacles looks like a peace offering. So if you have got somebody in your life Maybe you've cut them out of your life. Maybe you've got no contact with them. Maybe you just feel like your relationship is very rocky and you're not getting on with it, um, with this person uh, or group of people, right? I feel like this month, I'm hearing the words golden opportunity as well. We need to explore this. Um, but this month, this peace offering is coming in. You know, maybe someone's going to um, give you an olive branch. Maybe you're going to get the apology that you've always wanted, um, or you feel that you deserve right now. So I just feel like there's been a breakdown um, with somebody in your soul tribe, somebody in your life, could even be to do with business for some of you. Um, but 
Whatever this problem is and how it's resonating for you and your personal situation, remember it's just general. Um, maybe you've had a falling out with somebody, right? Or just a rocky relationship. There, this lunar month, there is gonna be an end to this an end to this and it's going to be very gentle it may come out of the blue I'm hearing the words fresh start maybe you can turn over a new leaf maybe you can put things behind you but just with this five of swords this is just the end of conflict coming in for you right this could be financial as well this is what I'm seeing with this golden opportunity the strongest message that I'm getting for some of you is that it's going to come in the form of an apology or somebody uh, reaching out to you or kind of being able to build bridges is what I'm hearing. But also, I just feel like this could be financial. So if you have been struggling with your finances, with making ends meet, with paying off a debt and you just think this is really weighing heavily on me or maybe... Um, trying to close a deal or you feel like you've lost an opportunity or lost this deal or lost some money um I just feel like there is a golden opportunity here maybe it's an opportunity to uh look again maybe it's an opportunity to do things differently or maybe just an opportunity just comes in what I'm seeing is a phoenix rising from the ashes Right, so whatever bad situation you are in, whatever you are struggling in, you can come out of this. Spirit is going to help you and you are really going to um, have this golden opportunity. You are really going to have this chance to salvage um, this situation this month. This is like a divine intervention is what I'm hearing. So, you know, God helps those who help, them, help themselves. I really feel like you're going to be helped out this month. You know, because of your own efforts, because you have a positive attitude, because you are solutions focused, uh, because you don't let it get you down for too long, okay? So um, the first step I'm hearing is to kind of accept that it's happened or to accept where you are. So however this resonates for you in this general reading, but a golden opportunity coming in for you this month to heal something, to heal a rift, to uh, create something new out of the ashes of a relationship or a situation this month. I feel it really strongly in my heart space. This is going to make such a difference to how you feel. Um, I think it's going to be really beautiful. Eight of Cups, this is representing moving on from that energy, moving on from that energy of struggle, of difficulty, of um, kind of challenges, right? Moving on from that and leaving that in the past where it belongs. The center of your reading, we have eight of wands. This lunar month is gonna be a beautiful month for making progress for you. So you're gonna be able to overcome those blocks and challenges. You're gonna move forward and you're gonna see results coming in for you, all right? So this is very powerful. A lot of progress being made this lunar month, a lot of forward motion for you. Um, and I feel like it's a result of letting go of this thing that's been weighing on your mind, weighing on your heart. Um, and it just kind of lifts your spirit. And then that's able, you're able to kind of see things differently, see the bigger picture and move forward and just start to feel positive about life again, positive about your situation. You know, it's not so bad after all. There are opportunities. Um, and then as you start to raise your vibration feel a little bit better then the universe is going to match that feeling for you you know because like energy attracts like energy so as you start to feel a bit better and do a bit better by yourself then the universe comes in with more opportunities and more uh, serendipitous moments I see that here. Now I've got a specific message for singles here. I feel like you are moving towards a soulmate. You're going to get a message from somebody who is... Um, your soulmate, part of your soul tribe, um, somebody who you really resonate with, and this could signify the end of um, you being single this month, all right? Now then, remember, if you are looking for love, you must go out on dates to be able to kind of cash in on this energy. People sometimes write to me in the comments, you said I'd meet somebody and I didn't meet anybody, and I'm like, well, did you go on any actual dates? <laughs> Right? Remember, God helps those who help themselves. The universe helps those who help themselves. If you want to uh, connect to this energy and meet this person who is showing up for you this lunar month, then uh, you want to like be getting out and meeting people if it's safe for you to do so or kind of in whatever uh, way is appropriate during this pandemic. So a socially distanced, um, safe 
mask wearing date, right? Um, but I see you meeting, if you're single, I see somebody very special coming in for you, someone who's a soulmate, someone who's emotionally available, who's emotionally mature, who uh, isn't a time waster, who's really into you and kind of, um, who will be there for you for the long term. So this could be like a pivotal month, a life-changing month for you if you are single. Um, so yes, I think that is really, really beautiful. Um, let's take a look. So for others, I just see like another financial message here as well. Sorry, I was getting a lot of information all at the same time. So I'll let you know all the different messages that I'm getting. But I feel like if you have been in a financially difficult situation, maybe you're in dire straits, maybe um, you're up to your neck in debt, maybe you've had unexpected bills. I just feel like you are going to be snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. There is something about this issue, this challenge, this problem that you have been experiencing recently, or maybe for a long time, which I'm hearing from spirit is going to be the making of you. So it's like being in this situation how do I want to put it? Necessity is the mother of all invention, right? So it means that you're able to kind of think outside the box. It means that you're able to be solutions focused. You're just like, right, no one's going to rescue me. I've got to rescue myself. No one's going to sort out this situation for me. I've got to do it. I take personal responsibility. This is what I'm seeing here in the cards. And just by doing that, you can snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. So this is what I'm seeing here, of you just kind of uh, making your own magic, of finding a solution, of kind of uh, thinking outside the box and really kind of being able to rescue this and it being for your benefit in the long term. Because once you work out how to pay off that debt, you're also um, working out how to kind of make money or when you work out how to start that business, um, then that's gonna pay dividends for you in the future. So. Or maybe you're just getting to a space in your life where you're just like in this situation, uh, you know, where it is that you're living or your financial situation or this relationship, you've got nothing to lose. You're just like, well, you know, this isn't meeting my needs or this is such a bad situation. Anyway, I've got nothing to lose. And by kind of doing that, by taking that risk, um, it's going to pay off really well for you, you know, and then we've got this emperor. So towards the end of this lunar month, I see you kind of really stepping into your power, knowing what it is that you want and gaining control, right? Just look at the contrast between this. So kind of like, I'm dejected. I feel out in the cold. I feel like nothing's working out for me. I'm in this really bad situation um, or things seem to be getting worse or, you know, uh, something's undermining, uh, my well-being and now closing it with the emperor you know so much passion this month you chose this card with this kind of fiery red um we've got this fiery red card to finish lots of action taken this month by you uh lots of passion you know a very energetic month for you but like look at this guy he's just standing there going i'm the king of the world <laughs> right he's just like look i'm winning so, and what he's doing here with this kind of cube that you can see is he's created a framework for which to go forward in life. He's just like, this is the blueprint that I can follow to create success or um, to overcome this problem, right? But yes, I feel like you're going to be feeling champion. You're going to feel like the king of the world or queen of the world uh, by the end of the month. You're going to be like, yes, I'm completely on top of this. I feel like I'm winning at life. I'm in control of my own life. I'm not listening to anybody else. And I think you're going to get so much confidence from being able to have kind of dealt with this challenge, to be able to face this challenge head on. And instead of burying your head in the sand or hoping someone will rescue you, like just really being present with it and going, okay, this is where I'm at and I'm going to sort this out. I'm going to get the information that I need. I'm going to get the help that I need. I'm going to get the support that I need. I'm going to, um, you know, make the changes that I need to make. And you're just going to be winning. This is what I'm hearing. You're just going to be winning. So, uh, yeah, I love that for you. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Okay. Right. Lots of messages coming in. 
We have the card Message in a Bottle. This is a card of 15, breaks down to a six. That may be significant to you. This is such a beautiful card. So I feel like you may get an unexpected message this month. You may get unexpected news this month, which is uh, positive and empowering for you, which really lifts your spirits as well. So um, I think that's really nice. Oh yeah, you just may get some um, information as well that may, uh, out of the blue, maybe you've been searching for the answer for something or searching for the solution and that's going to come in for you this month. So I think this is really nice, but something out of the blue coming in for you this lunar month, I think it's great. We've got the card Get Creative. Look at this, I love it so much. Definitely this lunar month is a very creative month for you. Uh, perhaps, you know, some of these solutions need creative problem solving. Perhaps um, uh, your creativity is the key that unlocks this problem or this issue. Maybe it's because through your creativity you can connect to your authentic self. Now creativity doesn't necessarily have to be um, you know, artistic or design or musical, right? Uh, it can be lots of different things. It can be dance, it can be self-expression, right? It doesn't have to be like a classic thing. But get creative this month. This is gonna relieve some of your stress, is what I'm hearing at the very least. And at the most, it's really gonna help you out and help you to kind of move forward and create success. But a very creative month for you. So really tap into your own creativity. We are all creative beings, okay? Um, we have, I love this. Again, a message for singles. This is a, the door to romance. I love this. 33, again, breaks down to a six. Um, there's a little heart with, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it with a, it's a heart with a little lock in the middle of it. So it's like unlocking your heart this month with this person. So I feel like this month may be a doorway to a significant relationship for you if you are looking for love. If you are already in a connection, then um, this will be a romantic month for you. Maybe your uh, significant other will express themselves romantically, maybe in a way where you didn't expect them to. Um, you know, maybe they're deepening their connection with you or their commitment to you, or maybe they're just, um, you know, doing something romantic for you. Maybe you can give them that book about the love languages, the five love languages or whatever it's called, so that they can speak to you in the language that you understand. Um, and we have the card Surrender to the Divine. Look at that, there is a divine plan for your life, okay? And when you surrender to that, rather than trying to force your own will on the situation or trying to figure things out, we kind of get involved in our own affairs and our own kind of uh, life. Just set your intention, right? And then allow the universe to take care of it for you. So know clearly what it is that you want um, to create in your life and allow the universe to help you. And the universe will do that by through hunches or um, through your intuition, right? And you can surrender to the divine plan of your life. And you know when you're not on your divine plan because it feels... Um, like disharmony, it feels maybe even like chaos, it feels like struggle, it feels like challenges, right? So surrender to the divine and the divine plan of your life. Say to the universe, I surrender, right? Just say that, I surrender. And that is like such a powerful affirmation when um, you are struggling with life circumstances or when you really can't find the answer um, to this problem or it looks like there is no solution. Okay, you just say, I surrender. It is very powerful and then help will come rushing in for you. All right, um, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. I hope you found it um, helpful in some way. Do give it a like if you are still here at the end of the reading. It's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube. Has been my honor to read your cards as always. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations. Uh, I've got a full collection over on my website, which is linked down below, lumiere-tarot.com. Um, I've got a few of the meditations linked below this video, and then the full collection is over on my website. People have been writing to me with their stories of transformation and how uh, you know, doing this work on the subconscious mind has really helped them to get through their own blocks and challenges in their life. So yeah, let me know how it resonates. But um, yeah, have an amazing lunar month. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care. Bye-bye. 
Hey everybody and welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three. This is for everyone who picked this beautiful card from the Moonology deck. Look at the beautiful image on here. So this is Waxing Crescent Moon and there's a beautiful image of this beautiful moon and this lovely meadow as well. And it says on the card, have faith in your dreams. So Spirit is really saying, you can walk by faith and not by sight. You hear me say this a lot on the channel, but it's about like part of manifestation is not to get caught up in the external, what we call reality. The only true reality is within us. So that kind of spiritual world, our emotional world is the leader and the outer world is the follower. So what we're seeing out there is what we have already manifested. So if you wanna change what's out there, then we have to change what's in here and not get too upset um, about what we're seeing out there because out there is only a mirror of our inner world. Right? So this is how we can walk by faith and not by sight. So no matter what happens, if it looks like things are moving away from us or things are getting worse or there are problems, we turn our attention away from what's out there and towards our own inner vision and our inner faith. And you can focus on what it is that you do want and not what it is that you don't want. So don't focus on all those problems. Don't focus on appearances of how things appear to you. Just stay Focus and walk by the light of your own inner faith is what I'm hearing for you this month with this beautiful image. All right, let's take a look at your tarot. I will clarify with your oracle cards later. Six of Wands to open your reading. Knight of Cups. Two of Swords. Three of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. This is the fountain tarot that I'm using in this reading. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords justice and the king of pentacles to close your reading so i see libra's energy here very strongly and leo's energy as well taurus virgo capricorn that may resonate with you sun moon or rising if you have that in your chart or it could be in the chart of someone who's very close to you uh you know who's coming up in the the themes and the highlights of your reading for this lunar month this month, okay? So I see this with opening this with uh, the Six of Wands. This is gonna be a very successful month for you. You will be getting some recognition this lunar month that perhaps you've waited a long time for, or you've been working quite hard for, okay? So maybe, um, you are starting something or you've been working on something where you've been sharing what it is uh, that you create. Maybe it's a podcast or a YouTube channel or a blog or a book that you're writing or something like this. Um, and, or, you know, some artwork or your music or just uh, whatever it is. I just feel like, or maybe just like working on a project at work, you will get some recognition for it this month. Um, and it's gonna be uh, very well deserved and well received. So I see that here. Um, I feel like with this Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, I feel like for sing this is a message for singles that's coming in for you right now, or those of you who are looking for love, or maybe you're in a situationship, but look, love is being offered to you and it's like you can't see it because the, the woman in this card, if I can get it to focus for you on the camera, will it focus? I don't quite know where the sweet spot is. I can't actually see it on my tiny little monitor. Um, but she's wearing a blindfold, which um, if you're familiar with the traditional Rider Waite Tower, you'll know this. So it's like you can't see the love that is available to you. Now, this may be energetic or there may be somebody kind of in the periphery of your life who touches your life very lightly, who would be your perfect match for you. So spirit is really saying that love is being offered to you. Love is available to you. Feel that energy of love, not the energy of lack, and the universe will match that for you. So if you are single or you're looking to come into a harmonious union with somebody, feel that love within you so that the universe can match that energy for you, right? Um, I absolutely love this. So it's just like you are blind to the love that is available to you. There is love available to you this month, this lunar month. It's very powerful, but it's just like you can't see it. So maybe you can't see the potential of somebody. Maybe you meet somebody and you put them in the friend zone and you can't really imagine them like that. Or someone that you put in the friend zone in the past, or there's someone who's got a big crush on you and you don't even know. You're like, they're just not even on your radar. 
So uh, open yourself up to this love that's available to you because the universe um, wants to offer you uh, this beautiful, genuine love that feels really good. So yeah, that's just a message for singles or those who are looking to come into a harmonious union uh, this month. It may also be for some of you that you are blinded by love, right? Perhaps you meet someone and you think uh, they're so magical or they're so special, you're blind to their faults, um, or you're just sort of blinded by love that the feelings are so strong and so powerful for you, right? Now there's a lot of energy here, um, three of wands, the seven of pentacles, That suggests uh, just like waiting. What I'm hearing from spirit is you're like, you're playing a waiting game, okay? So I feel like this lunar month, you're gonna be asked to be quite patient uh, with things. Things are coming together for you in divine timing. So things have gotta line up for you is what I'm seeing. I feel like this is a month for really reflecting on you know, where you're putting your energy, where you're putting your focus, what it is that you are creating. So maybe you've just kind of been uh, drifting along or maybe you've got into that thing, that phase like we all do, of just like trying to manage the day to day, trying to keep on top of things so that you don't drown uh, beneath all the responsibilities and things that you need doing. Sorry, this is so annoying. I've got a hair stuck in kind of my glasses and in my eye and it's driving me bananas. Anyway. So I feel like this is a waiting game. This is a month of really reflecting on where it is that you want to go from now on. Now, often people wait until January to do this, but Spirit is really saying, look, now is the, now is the month to take stock, to um, reflect, to plan. Maybe you want to you know, journal about it. Maybe you want to make some lists and write it down, right? Um, this is really, really going to help you to set your intention and to decide um, where you want to put your money, where you want to put your focus, where you want to uh, spend your time, on what direction it is that you're going towards in order to create success. I feel like you're waiting for some sort of uh, help or support to come in as well with this six of um, pentacles energy. I do see this coming in for you. So this help may come in the form of advice. It could also come in the form of, you know, somebody helping you out financially, uh, lending you some money or um, getting a bank loan or something like that so that you can uh, get on the property ladder or um, start a business or whatever it is, amalgamating your debt, something like this. This is going to be very successful for you. It's going to really help you. This six of pentacles also represents getting your needs met. So when you reflect about these things um, and where you're sort of at in life at the moment, it could be to do with you kind of uh, deciding what your needs are, you know, and how those needs can be met as well. But I see this as a month of you kind of getting your needs met in whatever way uh, that resonates with you. They could be romantic needs, they could be financial needs, but I just feel like the road rises to meet you, that um, you will get your needs met, that's gonna make you feel more nourished, it's gonna make you feel more whole, it's gonna make life easier for you this lunar month, okay? So I feel that for some of you, there's a lot of worry with this um, Eight of Swords to the Justice about some sort of legal situation for some of you or a contract so it could be something that's going through the courts or something that's uh some sort of legal situation or some sort of legal situation that you are going through or considering right or for some of you it could just be a contract to do with um you know signing a works contract or a business contract or it could be to do with uh, signing a lease or a mortgage or getting a loan or a business loan um something like this. I feel like you have been like quite worried about this. I feel like this may be on your mind this month, um, this lunar month. There's a lot here about balance in your reading as well with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice. So I feel like this is going to be a month where fe things feel more settled for you, where things are going to come into balance, uh, where things are really going to like come out in the wash. So any kind of challenges or like or kind of grittiness or uh, struggles that you've been experiencing, things are gonna settle down and be much more balanced for you this month. This is gonna uh, give you more energy, it's gonna make you feel more positive. Now, regarding this legal situation or contract that you uh, may be considering or that um, is on your mind this month, we've got this beautiful King of Pentacles. You couldn't ask for a better outcome 
to your reading. Um, I absolutely love this. This is about the long term. This is about, oh, you know, this is about success. Whatever this is, um, these finances, these contracts, this legal situation will work out very well for you with this King of Pentacles energy. Um, this may even be to do with a commitment or a marriage, but this is about the long term. So this is going to work out very well for you and it's going to pay dividends for you for the future. This is something that you can depend on. This is something that you uh, will stand you in good stead for the long term. A lot of success for you this month as well. You know, this your reading is bookended by these two cards of success. And I see this as kind of uh, success with... Uh, your finances really highlighted for you this lunar month. So maybe you are trying to create balance in your um, abundance in your financial situation. Maybe you're planning for the long term, you know, organizing your finances, your savings, a pension, paying off your debt, something like this, so that you can uh, be in a better financial situation and really grow your finances for the future. I'm hearing the word healthy. So this is like... Um, you know, a healthy relationship, healthy romantic relationship, a healthy relationship with uh, your money um, and how you take care of things, you know, not holding on too tightly so you stop the flow, not letting too much like slip through your fingers. So I see like, a, again, a good balance here with this justice to the King of Pentacles. I absolutely love it for you. Okay, let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Right. Wow. This is amazing. So much positivity here. We ha I love this card. It's so cute. We have the card Clean It Up. Right. This is a card 21. Breaks down to a three. That may be significant to you. Three may be your life path number. But this is definitely a month for kind of, like we were talking about, kind of reassessing, uh, planning, stuff like this. But also, you know, this can represent like uh, a literal cleanup in your life. So, Maybe you're cleaning up your physical surroundings. Maybe you're doing that spring cleaning, but you're doing it now. Maybe you're getting rid of some stuff because when we um, have a good clear out, we create space for new opportunities and the things that we desire to come into our lives. So sometimes they can't come into us because there's too much stagnant energy, right, um, in our lives. So, and also this is just like, just kind of like cutting out the crap and the nonsense as well. So maybe you're just like, do you know what? This friendship is no longer serving me or, um, you know, I need to really uh, tie up all these loose ends because they're like becoming a drain on my energy. So I need to kind of really focus on what it is that I need to finish off or there's some sort of project that you want to complete because it is draining your energy. So see where it is in your life, maybe in your work, maybe in your home, uh, maybe in your affairs where things are um, incomplete and this is going to help to bring this balance in, this new opportunities, this new fresh energy is to be able to tie, what I'm seeing is tying up all those loose ends. I feel like for some of you there's kind of six, seven, maybe eight uh, different loose ends that need tying up in different areas of your life. This is the lunar month to do that, okay? Um, and then we have the card Transmute with this beautiful busy bee on it. This is about like transforming the energy in your life. Turn, what I'm hearing from spirit is turning lead into gold. So it may be the case that when you are having this clear up or clear out that you have some things that you can make some money out of, that you can uh, sell on an app or something. So uh, maybe you didn't realize they were worth something or you get more money than you were expecting. Um, or perhaps you uh, are undervaluing yourself in this way because we've got this beautiful, let me see if I can come get it into focus, there's a pentacle at the top of this card. So I feel like this is about like transforming your financial situation. So maybe you are undervaluing yourself in some way, you don't recognize your own value and you're able to transform that. We have this amazing card from the Moonology deck, expect powerful change. And this is a new moon eclipse. So very powerful for you. I see this as a, a month of change for you, um, of things, you know, fresh energy coming in, um, of your efforts being rewarded. This lunar month, you will really see your efforts being rewarded. You know, maybe you've been um, with the Three of Wands and Seven of Pentacles, you know, waiting for a long, long time. Maybe you've been putting in a lot of effort and not seeing any results. This lunar month, you will see the results. Um, 
and you will see a change in your circumstances for the better. So that's really positive. We have the card Wonders uh, with this crystal image on it. This is just about the magic of life. Sometimes we try and take on all the responsibility ourselves, don't we? Um, but allow the universe to work its magic, right, sometimes. So I feel like there's going to be some serendipitous moments for you um, in this lunar month where you really are in the right place at the right time, where you bump into someone who has, you know, just the right information or just the right connection for you to really help you out. Um, so give thanks for those wonders when they come in for you and also just cultivate the attitude of gratitude because like energy attracts like energy. So the more you focus on the wonders that you experience in your life already, look at what it is that you've already manifested in your life. Give thanks for that and you will bring more to you this month. And then we have a card at 42, breaks down to a six. That may be... Um, significant to you. This is a woman holding a coin, right? Very similar to the Queen of Pentacles energy. And we've got the King of Pentacles here. So, uh, you know, a balanced connection, a balanced union, if you are going into business with somebody or uh, entering into some sort of financial contract, I see that here. This card is all about receiving abundance, right? Because it's the feminine, it's the woman holding the coin. Uh, regardless of your own gender, it's about that yin energy of receiving, allowing your good to come to you, allowing that stream of income to come to you. So perhaps you tap into a new stream of income, perhaps you get some money unexpectedly this month, but it's about you receiving it. So be open to your good, be open to the stream of abundance, which is always available to you. You can say, the universe is my supply and the supply is infinite, right? The universe is my supply and the supply is infinite. Comment that down below. But I see you receiving money this month. Maybe you win some, maybe it's a gift, maybe somebody helps you out, but you will definitely receive money this lunar month. So a lot of messages here are to do with finances and a little bit to do with love as well. So yes, I hope you found this reading uh, uh, you know, helpful in some way. Do give it a like if you did. It's a beautiful way of, um, you know, supporting free tarot here on YouTube. If you feel called to, please check out Life Book by Mind Valley. It's not sponsored. I'm just absolutely loving doing this course. Um, so it's a beautiful way of creating your vision for your life in the 12 dimensions of your life and being the author of your own uh, masterpiece, your own book, your own experience. So, um, it's a beautiful way of setting your intentions, of getting clarity if you've been feeling a little bit lost or you really want to kind of, uh, you know, take things to the next level and create more success for yourself. So it's called Life Book. It's by Mind Valley. I've linked it down below. I absolutely love it. All right. But yes, have an amazing lunar month. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumia. Take care. Bye bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number four. This is uh, for everyone who picked this beautiful and amazing card uh, with these kind of golden yellow orangey colors on it. Um, this is a full moon in Leo, so Leo may be significant to you, or the strength card in the tarot of kind of facing your inner demons, your inner fears uh, this month, this lunar month. Um, it says, don't let pride get in your way. So this is like a message from spirit just to say, look, maybe you're holding yourself back from moving forward, from, uh, you know, following your heart's desire, from, um, you know, getting outside your comfort zone, from taking a risk, from doing what it is that you truly want to do, from being authentic, because you are worried about falling flat on your face, about what people will say about you, about people laughing at you, about uh, laughing at you, about, uh, you know, fear of failure, right? So spirit is really saying, look, you're going to be successful in this, face your fears, uh, you know, don't worry about what other people have got to say about you and your life because you can just stay in your own lane, put your blinkers on, you know, and focus on what it is that you want. Go in that direction and you will be guided, okay? So, yeah, uh, I think that's really positive, a beautiful opening to your reading. I'll begin with your tarot. I'm using the good tarot today, and uh, which has beautiful imagery in it, and I will clarify with your oracle cards as we go along. So opening your reading with a beautiful Ace of Cups. Uh, then we've got Four of Wands. 
the Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Swords in reverse, Justice, Ace of Wands in reverse, King of Swords, Eight of Swords, and closing your reading with the star. Look at the amazing image on this. Sorry, this deck is very shiny, so it's going to catch the light. They've got a high gloss on these cards. Okay then, so I see Leo's energy here, and... Aquarius and Libra's energy represented, sun, moon or rising, so that may resonate with you, um, either for you if it's in your chart or you know for someone very close to you who you are dealing with, whose energy is represented in this reading today, all right? Okay, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, I absolutely love this opening, this is a powerful opening to your reading here. I feel like, um, for some of you, you are going to be spending time with family, time with friends, time with your soul tribe, okay? Perhaps you're going home uh, for the holidays, perhaps you are creating a home or a loving home like this, but I just see um, a very busy time for you around your home life. Right, very busy time for you. Uh, you know, lots on your plate, lots going on, lots to look forward to, lots of laughs, um, lots of social engagements, things like this. But lots to do with family or your soul tribe, people who really nourish you. What I'm hearing from spirit is this is a month where you are going to be able to um, fill up your own cup. You know, because sometimes our cup of kind of what it is that we need to nourish us, to keep us strong and healthy and like feeling good and connected to well-being can become depleted. But this month, uh, you know, this is a month for kind of filling your own cup up with uh, the stuff, you know, by meeting your needs, you know, getting your needs met by uh, doing things that you enjoy, by spending time with people who raise you up. You are going to find this. I'm really feeling it. You're going to find it... Um, very nourishing, it's really going to connect you to well-being, you're going to find it very replenishing, so this is that filling up your own cup energy, so yeah, but it's going to be a busy time, um, but it's going to be really uh, good for you, so also in love, I see if you are single, I see new love coming in for you, which has got long-term potential, which has got a lot of stability, um, and something where there is a lot of passion here with this Knight of Wands, so you may get swept up in this, okay? This is if you're single and if you are kind of dating and meeting people. You may meet a connection or something may deepen into, um, you know, a, a deeper connection, deeper feelings um, during this lunar month, and I'm seeing that here. But Spirit is really saying don't get too swept up in it. You can set the pace of this right? You do not need to uh, go full steam ahead. You can't miss out on this. Um, so if you've got someone in your life who's coming on really strong or is trying to call the shots, you call the shots. You are in control. Spirit is saying slow it down, okay? Otherwise it's going to burn out too quickly because this is uh, an offer of love or new love coming in for you which has got long-term potential, okay? You're really going to feel that spark of attraction if you are single. Um, and looking for things out there because there is this great need for balance this lunar month, okay? And what I'm hearing, okay, right, okay, I'm getting a lot of information at once, is there is this great need for balance and this is very important because it's going to stop you from getting run down. It's going to stop you from, um, if you don't cultivate this balance, you may undermine your immunity and you may get ill in some way, okay? So maybe it triggers anxiety, maybe it triggers uh, a condition that you've already got, okay? Maybe it creates stress in your life. Spirit is saying you need balance in this month. Balance is going to be called for, you know, so how can you create balance in your life? Maybe you can say no to some people or some events or some things that come your way. Maybe you can say no to what it is that doesn't resonate with you. Saying no is a beautiful way of creating balance in your life. Maybe you can delegate responsibilities to other people, right? Maybe you can let go of some responsibilities, which you just like, Do you know what? I love doing this, but I just don't have have room for it in my life at this moment I'll pick it up again in the future because we've got this knight of swords in the reverse and we've got the um page of wands in the reverse so this is really saying look 
um, the justice in the middle, which is all about the balance. And obviously justice is the 11. So this being the center of your reading, this beautiful justice card is the center of your reading. Look at this. And it's an 11. So as I'm looking at it, it looks like a kind of gateway. Um, uh, you know, down here on the desk, it looks like a gateway that you are going through here. So I'm getting a few messages. You've got to cultivate this balance. This um, Knight of Wands, Swords, excuse me, in the reverse, is just saying, and this um, Ace of Wands in the reverse, is really saying, don't be too hasty. You know, this Knight of Wands is really a card of like, you know, going for it, all guns blazing, and often being too hasty. So there is this really, really strong energy here about like, yes, you know, there's an opportunity that you can really get behind. Maybe it's a romantic opportunity. Maybe it's to do with business, finance, career, whatever it is. Yeah, you feel really passionate about it. It looks really, really good. But Spirit is saying, this needs to be in divine timing. You need to make sure that you've got all the information, okay? So don't be too hasty. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into a contract, a new job, a relationship. Just, especially with this justice card, this is all about kind of um, taking a moment just to read the small print, read the fine print, okay? Get all the information that you need. What I'm hearing from Spirit is don't make assumptions, okay? Don't assume that they're gonna pay you that much or don't assume that they're gonna show up for you in this way, okay? Don't make assumptions. Get the information that you need or base your decision on uh, the facts. This is what I'm hearing. So now is not necessarily the time to uh, take action, don't be hasty. So you can move forward, you can take this opportunity, you can have this relationship, whatever it is, but you just need to be very clear in yourself about what it is that you want and you want to make sure that you've got all the information. I'm hearing the word blind spot as well, so this is the way out of this, you know, that there may be a blind spot in this lunar month um, and the way that you can get around this is just by, if your intuition is saying, yeah, this looks really good on paper, but I don't feel sure about it, about this move or this contract or this business deal or this person or this relationship. You feel, and you can tune into yourself like, mm, I wanna give it more time, ask for more time. If you want more information, ask for more information. This is what Spirit is saying for you this month. So um, yeah, that is definitely indicated here, you know, to do with signing, particularly to do with uh, signing any contracts or deals or starting anything new, all right? Um, I feel like, you know, we've got this beautiful king of swords, the eight of swords. You are going to be able to overcome any of your fears or um, your doubts in yourself where you're kind of not being, uh, maybe believing in yourself um, through kind of being measured again and being like logical and just being like, okay, I recognize that my anxiety is coming up or I recognize that I've got some fears about this, but you are able to kind of um, see the bigger picture and be able to kind of talk yourself out of it and just be like, okay, I understand that this is only fear or kind of, I don't need to be worried about this because of these things or, you know, I'm sure they're very nice people or I'm sure they'll accept me or I'm sure that everything will work out well, okay? You can give yourself that pep talk um, to be able to support yourself through any, um, a resistance that you have, you know, so if you do experience any kind of limiting beliefs, again, this is about kind of um, asking questions is what I'm hearing from Spirit, asking other questions, getting um, more information, fact finding is what I'm hearing. So get all that information. So I see an opportunity coming in. I see lots of good times for you. I see lots of good times with your family and your soul tribe. I see a lot of harmony this month, but Spirit is saying don't rush into anything, that's all. And if you do uh, have an opportunity or you need to sign a contract um, or you're making a change in your life, get all the information and don't make assumptions, okay? So ask those questions. And then closing the reading with the star, I absolutely love this for you. You know, look at this. Opening your reading with Ace of Cups, closing it with the star, you know, new fresh energy, uh, emotional fulfillment, um, a beautiful month for you. Now this is really uh, speaking of kind of healing the past. Okay, so whatever has happened to you in the past that has created a wound or a scar, it's making me feel very kind of emotional, like I want to cry. Um, this is I'm hearing that you're going through a process of healing, right? Of like 
getting grounded and like whatever it is that you've been to it has brought you closer it's like it's brought you home to yourself ace of cups to the four of wands like this it's brought you home to yourself so perhaps you uh, strayed quite far from your own authentic self in your life or with a particular relationship or a friendship or with your career however it resonates for you if you strayed quite far from what is true for you right and we all do this right we all get involved in relationships that, that you know feel very exciting but maybe aren't very nourishing or aren't very healthy for us or perhaps we take a career because we like the money but it doesn't nourish us inside you know there's a theme in your reading about kind of being nourished and uh, about healing so this is about like coming home to yourself I feel like you're going to really connect to these energies towards the end of the lunar month and this is going to be something that's ongoing for you uh, where you really assimilate a lot of the lessons that you've learned you really assimilate and understand why you had to go through certain experiences uh, whereas maybe before you've been like why why did this happen to me this is so awful um, so I see solutions to your problems I see a time of grace and harmony coming in for you um, Perhaps you want to connect to the affirmation. Um, harmony, grace and ease is now established in my life, mind and body. Harmony, grace and ease is now established in my life, mind and body. Okay, Connect to that energy of harmony because we're either connected to chaos or we're connected to harmony. So Spirit is saying choose harmony. Let's take a look at your oracle cards a moment we have the card nature a very beautiful card two birds represented on um this oracle card here so two birds may be significant to you this is a, a reminder to spend time in nature it's going to replenish you it's going to really uh, make you feel fulfilled and really good about yourself so getting out in nature to connect with nature i'm seeing water like a stream or a river um so that may be significant to you as well. But also this is about your own nature, right? Who it is that you are truly, your own authentic nature. And again, that message of coming home to yourself this lunar month, okay? So I see that for you here. We have the card success as well. Look at this. What is that? A jaguar? I don't know. Is that? I don't know. Oh no, I'm going to get into so much trouble in the comments now. Panther? Let's go with Panther. Well, he looks like he means business anyway. So, you know, whatever you set your mind to, you can be successful. So this is a sign from Spirit that this lunar month will be a very successful month for you, especially when you take the time to uh, cross all the T's and dot all the I's and, you know, just take that, that extra care in um, kind of moving forward. But I see success coming in for you. This month, I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. We have don't let your past hold you back, self node. Just what we were talking about here with this star energy, right? About like whatever it is that you've been through, not over identifying with it, not um, replaying it in your mind or keeping it on a loop in your mind um, or having that as your story, right? No one ever loved me, so no one ever will, or my parents didn't love me, so I'm now emotionally unavailable, or, um, you know, whatever it is. Just, it's like this process this month where you begin to let go of your story, and then you'll begin to create a new story in the way that resonates with you the most, which is authentic. This card, the star, is all about authenticity. We have the card Archangel Michael. This is so lovely. Um, you can really call on Archangel Michael to uh, help to raise your vibration, um, to put you in line with um, your authentic desires. Okay, and this is the, the root chakra as well. So this is about healing the root chakra, connecting to the root chakra, and the root chakra is the source of your supply, of getting your needs met, bringing in supply, whatever it is that you need, whether you need um, you know, food or abundance or uh, money or um, a particular need met, like a car or a home or something like this. Uh, call on Archangel Michael to help you with those goals. And we have this beautiful card, Unfinished Symphony. This card is a card number 10, uh, breaks down to a one that may be significant for you. Um, this really indicates to me that um, 
there's something in your life that is unfinished. It could be um, some unfinished business to do with a particular person or a relationship where you need to kind of uh, get closure. Maybe you need to give closure to yourself. I feel that for some of you, this is a... Um, like a project, a creative project, a project in your life. It could be a DIY project around your home or um, a project that you were working on with a friend or something like this. Maybe you've let it go because you didn't have time for it. Spirit is really saying, you know, uh, finish this to the end. One of the other groups had this, that there was a lot of loose ends that needed tying up. And for that group, I saw, you know, many loose ends. But for this, this is just one thing which really you need to make the time for that to kind of finish off because it's going to be what i'm hearing is that it's going to be well worth it so maybe there's a financial reward or an emotional reward um or you'll get some recognition for it or whatever but it's just going to be well worth it so there's something in your life however this resonates for you in this general reading which is unfinished a project, something that you've been working on, um, maybe just something that needs sorting out or a room that needs decorating or a work project or um, something that you started and then gave up on. Pick that up again. Uh, this is going to be a good month for it. The universe is really supporting it and get that done because it's going to free up a lot of energy for you. It's going to free up space in your life for you to be able to move forward and create that success that we talked about, uh, you know, just now. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading. I hope you have found it beneficial. If you have, give it a thumbs up. It's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube. Also check me out on Instagram, Lumia underscore Mystic. There's loads more um, you know, beautiful stuff over on there that I'm doing over on Instagram as well. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful books, Attract Soulmate Love and Feminine Frequency. They are all about using feminine energy to call that special person into your life and they offer the feminine energy partner so that is the partner who likes to be pursued rather than the pursuer all right loads more information on my website lumiatarot.com but have an amazing lunar month i am sending you lots of love and light in your situation and i look forward to seeing you again soon here on lumiere take care bye, -bye.